Belgium. We're in Brussels. Settled down and now we're out for a stroll. Very windy. This city is famous for like mussels, steak fries, waffles, beers, waffles. That's pretty much it. We're gonna get we're gonna get waffles now and then we're gonna have some frites as well. And then we're heading to a Christmas market and then we've got a reservation for dinner tonight. So hopefully we'll have some good food. So we're gonna eat, eat, eat. <laughs> That's the plan. Bam. Train station's got music playing. Mason Van Doy. Oh my god, look at this line, bro. This waffle place is so crowded, bro. That's a really nice waffle place, and next to it is a fries place. We're gonna queue for the fries. Alvin's queuing for the... <laughs> Alvin's queuing for the waffles. Like, look at this guy, bro. La Frittery. Mm. They're even demolished now. What do you think? I think this is like Andalou sauce, which is like mayo and like ketchup. This is just like tartar sauce. Decent. Got a chocolate hazelnut one with cream, obviously. Tastes good. Mm. Mason Dandoy, legend. Right now, we're going to the mannequin piss. Very interesting, let's go. What's that? Mannequin piss. Look at that dude. Wow. Looks like there's a show over there. Interesting. Let's Interesting. go, my sisters. <laughs> Interesting. Go, go, go. Sat down, Chesley on, the Brussels restaurant. Okay, dude, this is cooked. Lobster is cooked with garlic sauce. If you want the mussels, you have here. The first is the loma, white wine is the most popular. This fish is the season now in Belgium. That's called the grey sole. You have the bones only on the middle. Really nice. All right, there we go. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, yes, sir. Good. Yes, good, sir. Yes, sir. We're good. <laughs> Apparently this beer is very famous and very good, so I'm gonna try one of that. Cheers, mate. Pretty solid. Got mussels, fries, fish soup, pasta, beef tartar, grilled fish, fries again. Do some, mate. Oh. How's the food, bro? Good shit. Come to Chesley on if you come to Belgium. The steak tartare is pretty good. Steak tartare was lit. Steak tartare was lit, man. The thing I want to say, yeah, we had the beer, like the Leon beer from Chesley on, and it was so strong. Like after one beer, I'm like tipsy. I checked the alcohol, it's like 6.8%, and it was absolutely mad. Belgium beer is known for being strong. And one of their beers is like 15%, so I'm probably gonna try and try that. So we'll see. That's it for day one. It's been a good day, thoroughly enjoyed. 
and uh, looking forward to day two and I'll see you tomorrow. Morning bro. Damn, let me flip the camera. I'm so hungry but gonna hit the gym man. Has to be done and then auto world we go. Alright, that's the workout done. Short and easy, we just did some random stuff. Literally, because there's nothing in this gym. Now we're going auto world. Oh, we're gonna take you there. We're gonna scooter there, mate. So, let's go. Made it to auto world with my boy. Gonna have a look around, see what's good. There's also some really like old cars here. Like these ones, look out for them. I was wondering why there's such a banged up car in here, but it's actually the first generation Toyota Prius hybrid car that we all see today, and we always take Ubers on them. That's the one. Auto world's done, you know, saw some pretty sick cars. The Ferraris are so cool, man. And like, there's like vintage Porsches, like some GTA vibe cars, some early days, cars from the early days, some Fords. It's pretty lit. Back to hotel. Catherine! 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 Headed out to Nord Sea for lunch. Had some really nice food, the tuna was really good, and uh, yeah. But what we're getting again, waffles for days, bro. We're in. Sat down at Atonium's restaurant. Pretty tranquil environment. Yeah, it's like a circular restaurant. Um, looking forward to the food. We'll see what we're gonna get. Nah, I'm literally swaying. Like I can't lie. Like, if you have dinner here, it's, it's actually moving. It is. It's moving. We're sitting in a bowl, right? And it's just turning. Cheers. Starters. We got some fagua and tomato shrimp. Good, saw everything we had to see. Had a great dinner view, great food, great company, had some wine. We're gonna head to a beer bar now, a beer pub, to try some 15% beer. Let's get it. Next stop, baby. Like a club in here. I'm gonna get 11% beer, which is called the Strath Hendrick III. Can I get a Strath Hendrick III? Yeah. You want to? Pine, pine, yeah. My guy. Let's go, let's go. 11% pine. It's so good. Right. The flavour is elegant. And look at how little foam look at how little foam there is, which shows that it was a good pour. Oh it hits. Right, Alvin, right. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Alright, that's the first beer. Alright, so we're gonna get the second beer. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get the second beer. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get the second beer. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna So 
today we're gonna head to like a fine arts museum and we've got other activities planned as well. Gonna eat some chocolate, very excited about that. Sadly, the chocolate museum's closed, so we just found this chocolate shop. Just sit in here, eat some chocolate. We got the hot chocolate here. This one's dark chocolate. Here we got three kinds. So this one's alcoholic, white chocolate. This is one of the specialties, and this one as well. Give it a try. It's a bit of alcohol in this one. Not bad. It's very concentrated. Last one. Mm. So this one's got like hazelnut in it. Which is your favourite? I think the hazelnut. Three chocolates plus this is like just 4 50 So a good deal. And these three chocolates, you can pick any combination you want from the chocolate bar. So yeah. We're at dinner now at this ramen place, feeling Asian food tonight. All of them look very appetizing. Mini donburi looks nice. We're gonna get that and some other ramen, I guess. Black garlic ramen with fried chicken. You got pork don right here, kimchi, other ramen, gyoza. Oh, you got a set. Nice little curry with shrimp. Let's dig in. Just finished dinner. Akumi. It was so good. The ramen portions are huge. We got the mini done, but it turned out to be so big. Like it's like a full-on meal as well. So super cheap, nine euros. Last day in Belgium. We're here in La Villa in the sky. Michelin one-star restaurant. Vibey place. The view is really nice too, but unfortunately it's raining today, so we'll just have to live with that. They have this nice little outside terrace for like drinks and stuff. But yeah. You are in front of you. A crispy wall with inside a salmon cream, a rum, a parsley powder, and a little bit of shikes. It's very liquid inside. You need to heat this in one bite. It's very important. You need to send me the video at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. So now, I will begin with you, sir. We have the box caviar. Inside there is four stage. The first one is the Izumi cream with salicorn, chips, and cibuli. Ah. Uh, good. So is that the yellow paste of lemon, so it's very strong, so you hit with the whole plate. With that, I serve the anise sauce. Yeah. Nearly 4 p.m. and we're still here. Oh, it's been such a long lunch. We've been here since 1 p.m. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Everything is made here in the restaurant. Alright guys, that's the food done. On to the review. First of all, honestly, you have to give compliments, huge compliments to the chef. The food was amazing. The presentation, the taste, everything was definitely worth one star. But when we arrived, we got a really nice welcome and all that. And uh, there was a really nice lady bringing us to the restaurant. Um, and got our coats sorted and all that stuff as well. So I think it was like a hotel that we went to and then the restaurant's just inside. But you know, once we stepped into a restaurant, that's when the problems began. You know, we immediately felt like something was wrong. 
you know, when we came in and we were showing our seats, but the waiter was just going about doing the thing and then we had to kind of go to our seats by ourselves and no one's like pulling chairs for us. So like that was a really strange first impression for a Mission Star restaurant. Another thing is the waiter didn't ask about our allergens and my girlfriend literally had to tell the waiter she didn't eat lamb herself. Some of the waiters gave a really condescending tone and was quite rude. And uh, it was in particularly one of them. The sommelier as well, like he literally rolled his eyes when we asked him to like pour wine for another one, for, for another person again. I'm not gonna name drop anyone, but they're easily searchable online because the restaurant's quite active on social media. Apart from that, uh, we got finesse. I guess the waiter's English wasn't that fluent which he basically tricked us into ordering two glasses of wine, coffee, and tea by saying that it was included in the business set lunch we ordered, but in the end we were overcharged by 39 euros more in, in the 95 euro set lunch, so making it 129 euros in the end. And then we, were, we asked for the bill, but then he turned it around on us by bringing up a wine pairing option for each course, which was 150 euros per person, and saying that he was doing a favor and saving us money by counting each drink individually. Like that's absolutely nonsense. And I was absolutely violated. Like what the hell? And the most angering bit was that he was completely unapologetic about the whole confusion and he didn't apologize at all. Another thing is the restaurant has no menu on its website. So you could literally be fooled. So that's why I'm giving you this information right now. So you could be careful when you visit this restaurant next time. Look at this comment, two stars three years ago. Very disappointed because of the price. We were very surprised when the server told us after we asked him that the menu that we chose was for euros 350 with one glass of wine per plate. We arrived at the addition with an addition of euros 525 because they took euros 150 additional for the wine. Not at all as he told us at the beginning. We felt a lack of professionalism at this subject very notable. There is a huge difference between 350 and 525. The food was good and the view, but for sure doesn't deserve this price compared to other restaurants in the same category. We don't recommend this restaurant. It's by far overpriced. That basically speaks my mind. Food was absolutely fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Props to the chef and he even gave me a little wave. The service from the hospitality team and the staff was just absolutely shambolic. As a foreigner, I don't feel comfortable eating at a restaurant. Like maybe in French will be like served better. That's it guys for the video. I really enjoyed my time in Belgium, apart from the last day because of obvious reasons. But yeah, that's it. Um, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel and hope it was informative and I'll see you guys in the next video.